What's up everyone? Today is Wellness Wednesday and today's topic, when shall I have my biggest meal of the day? This is a confusing topic even for me when I was coming up, but I think I got the answers for you, so stay tuned. When should I have my biggest meal of the day? Now, this can be confusing to a lot of people, but really, uh, when you want to get an answer like this, because when we look at like different sources, whether it's like somebody giving advice on how to lose weight, how to gain weight, you really want to pinpoint it to make it more specific for you. Because everybody is different. You might have one person that want to gain weight. You might have one person want to lose weight. Some people want to maintain. So this really plays a part in that answer to that question. But for just general wellness, this is this is what um, these are for the people who just want to maintain and just be healthy. So uh, although losing weight and you know you want to gain weight a healthy way, but once you get to that point where you want to be, you want to stick with some type of uh, routine to keep you on track or keep you balanced. So. Um, now, I know you, well, you probably haven't heard the saying, but I heard the saying coming up, especially in the wellness world. Um, you want to eat, you want to eat like a king for breakfast, a queen for lunch, and a peasant for dinner. So what they saying, you want to have your biggest meal at breakfast time. And uh, the science behind that, well, the concept behind that is because you have the rest of the day to burn this, this food off. So you wanna have your biggest meal, you know, first thing in the morning. Then, you know, lunchtime, you wanna have not as big as a king's meal, but you wanna eat like a queen. You know, you wanna have a pretty decent sized meal. Then when you get into dinner, you wanna have your smallest portion because this is the food that you're gonna sleep on. Now, that makes a lot of sense. And, you know, it, it made a lot of sense for me for many years. But as I read more, started learning more, started to do things myself, um, because I'm a doer. I try things out myself, and then I just offer my perspective uh, to it. So um, one thing I learned about when it comes down to, like, your meal sizes, you really want to match your... You really want to pinpoint your your body to like how the world operates. So first thing in the morning, you know, the sun is like right on the uh, horizon. In the middle of the day, it's go it goes right in the middle. At the end, it goes back to the other side of the horizon. So when you think about that type of, let me just draw it out since I got a board behind me. Um, if you draw a furniture, you know, you got, you got the sun starting right here. Then in the middle of the day, is at its highest point. And at the end, it, it, it's back at the low point. So, first thing in the morning, one thing that I learned about, um, you know, this is, you, you're you getting off a of fasting period because you've been asleep all night. Hopefully you ain't been eating all night. So, uh, you've been going through a fasting period. You know, it might have been, 10 to 12 hours, preferably 12 hours um, when you go through your fasting period. So after you get off your fasting period, you wanna you wanna think of yourself as a baby. When a baby is born, they they start up with the milk, then they get into like parade, then they get into like the solid food. So think of yourself the same way, especially after a fast. So you wanna start your morning off with water. Water is something that you know, it's, it's very light on you, you know, it has zero calories, and you're dehydrated. Our bodies need uh, water to survive, so I did a video about that last week. So we need water first thing in the morning. Um, you know, so after you drink your water, get your water intake in, you want to ease into, like, these meals. So you want to prepare the body to actually, you know, start back eating. You want to have your biggest meal right here. You know, you just got off a of fast. You don't want to start your day. You don't want to start your day, you know, with the biggest meal. So that kind of threw that ideal for me out the window. So morning time, I start off with like water. Then, you know, later on, I, I do me like a fruit smoothie just to get those nutrients from the fruit in my body. So I start off with a smoothie after the water intake. 
after that, that's when I get into um, some type of silent. Now, sometimes I'll do it like this, but I do snack throughout the day. Um, found this beneficial for me. I've been able to keep a, a maintain my weight. I've been able to lose weight whenever I want to, gain it whenever I want to. So I feel like I'm in control of myself. So, you know, sometimes I, I snack on like nuts around this time. It's, it's gotta be around the 10, 11 o'clock time of day. Now, when it comes down to lunch, this is the time when your body is at its highest point. Just like the sun at its highest point, your body is functioning now at its highest point. Stress levels may be at its highest point too. I did a video about that. Cortisol goes up throughout the day and then it, it, it goes down, you know, when it comes evening time. So this time of day right here, if you don't eat no meal, your cortisol will find ways to raise up your blood sugar level. Um, it, you wanna eat a meal around this time so that you can buffer some of this cortisol because a lot of people, we know about comfort eating. Food is comfort to us sometimes, so it can be a stress reliever for some people. That eating around this time of day when the sun is at its highest point, your body is functioning at its highest point, this is when your body is able to burn out the food a little better. So uh, eating in the middle of the day, your biggest meal is ideal to eat in the middle of the day. Now when it comes down to dinner, we want to keep it the same as the, eating like a peasant for dinner. So eating like a peasant for dinner, it can be something simple, but this is the time where, you know, your body is uh, about to get into a relaxation mode and you're about to go through another fast. And you don't want to go through a fast knowing that your body got to work the whole night just to burn out this meal. So you want to, if you want to maintain a good weight or lose some weight, you want to eat like a smaller meal around this time. Keep it real simple. So. This is what I learned from like two different sources, um, two, well, maybe three different sources, matter of fact, and just doing it myself. So that's why I'm presenting to you now. So eating, you know, give it a try. You know, everybody's different, so give it a try. Um, eating around this time of day helps uh, soothe your body, help relax your body, and also your body is functioning at its highest level. So I hope this tip was helpful. Um, like I said before, give it a try yourself. See if it worked out for you. You know, do it for at least um, two weeks straight. See if you how you feel. It. See how much energy you got. See if you lose a weight or anything like that. And um, leave a comment. So I hope this tip was helpful. Wellness Wednesday. Have a good day.